Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually set up the Acid Lab in Grand Theft Auto Online. I know a lot of people are quite confused about this, and there's quite a lot to know actually. So in this guide, I'm aiming to uh, try to help you guys understand how to actually just get this business running. Now this is not a full Acid Lab guide. I don't want people to think that this is. This is just simply how to start it up, and I'm going to include some details about the business. However, before I actually make a guide about the business, I want to fully understand it so I can give you guys the correct information. So that video will be coming very soon. I just need to play around with the Acid Lab a little bit more before I get into actually making a full guide on the new business. Anyways, so how you get into the Acid Lab business. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to get a phone call from Ron. It will be at Ace Liquor in Blaine County, which is uh, Trevor's old business. You'll go in and Ron will be in there getting, well, essentially beat up by a bunch of uh, LSD uh, induced hippie people then you're gonna have to defend the business you're gonna have to go and do a few missions for ron and also for dax now then after you complete this initial ron mission there are i believe five more missions where you're gonna have to deal with dax at the new warehouse which is located just under the highway in Los Santos right here, as you guys can see where I'm standing. And you're gonna go to this big D on the map that's flashing. And that is where you're gonna do these six missions from. Now the six missions range from, you know, some pretty easy stuff where you have to go and collect a truck and go to a lost MC warehouse and uh, clear it out. Uh, another mission where you're tripping absolute balls on acid and uh, doing all this crazy stuff and then there's a few other missions where you basically go somewhere kill people and then of course there's the final mission where you're going to go to the humane labs go inside and steal a bunch of chemicals and then at the end of the mission you're going to go to this train crash and that's where you're going to steal a brocade now this brocade that you're going to steal is the brocade that you are going to run the acid lab out of once you deliver it back to your warehouse so you guys are going to deliver the brocade back to your warehouse as you guys can see and once you get it there you'll basically Basically be done with the initial missions for DAX. Now once you go into free mode you'll see you have three different areas where you can go to to do the setup mission for the acid lab. Now I was under the initial impression that you had to go to all three of these locations and collect the setup supplies from each of them and then deliver them each back to the acid lab. However that's not the case. Uh, apparently if you just go to the first one and you walk on in there, you're gonna have to kill a few security guards and you're gonna have to use a forklift to load some things onto a truck. I think this is a pretty cool mission actually, it's pretty in depth and uh, definitely gives for some like immersive gameplay that's like a little bit different than what we're kind of used to, especially with the setups in GTA. Anyways, once you get the truck loaded down with all of these pallets of goods uh, for making acid, you're gonna drive the truck back to the acid lab and then once you've delivered the first truck, you will not have to go to either of the other two setup locations, you just have to do the initial one. So once you've done the initial setup delivery mission, you will then get access to a vehicle workshop icon on your minimap and when you walk up to it, you'll see that you can gain access to the acid laboratory for $750,000. And you're gonna to talk to this guy called Mutt. Mutt is basically the apprentice to the uh, the official like acid cooker of the troop, which is uh, Dax's group of LSD people. So for 750K, you're gonna get access to this business. And once you purchase the business for 750K, you'll see that you are able to actually upgrade the brocade and the delivery motorcycle. So the brocade basically, from my understanding, works as the laboratory where you you actually assemble the acid and uh, and make it and everything like that and then you use the motorcycle which is carried around on the back of the brocade to do your deliveries now you can fully upgrade the brocade as well in the vehicle workshop here you can uh, add armor onto it everything like this you can put these big bull bar on the front of it and I can report that the bull bar actually does push cars out of the way like right out of your way you guys can see in this gameplay in the background right now I'm driving through Los Santos and uh, absolutely plowing these cars out of the way it's an actual blast to drive this vehicle and uh, it's super super fun I've always liked the brocade it's always been a very fast vehicle in GTA but now they actually have some upgrades you can upgrade the brakes the engine transmission turbo all that sort of stuff the wheels as well uh, the armor everything like that now that it's got some additional performance and armor and everything like that it really is a fun vehicle to have in gta and if you guys are trying to get into your acid lab what you can simply do is park it up get out of it and then go around to the passenger side and you'll see the blue dot that you can go and stand in to enter into the acid lab it pretty much works the same as like the moc or the avenger stuff like that now once you get into the acid lab you guys can see it will say this is your acid lab from here you can source manufacture and sell acid to earn additional income then it will also say 
call mutt or source supplies from this location, so basically in the back left hand corner, to begin production and get the business up and running. So these supplies will cost you $60,000 if you do not have any supplies in the business already, so 60 grand. And then I'm assuming you're gonna be able to sell it for a decent chunk of change, but we don't exactly know how much this is, which is why I'm gonna do the Acid Lab full guide once I actually understand how this business properly works. Now you can also increase the production speed of your Acid Lab by visiting this table, and you can do this once per day. Uh, and I believe that you're going to have to craft some of this acid. Uh, I'm not sure how hard this is. I haven't actually tested it out. Again, I will be making the full guide on how the business fully works very shortly. But for right now, this is what we know about it. Now you can purchase supplies by speaking to Mutt and I do believe you can also call Mutt as well and you can buy the supplies from calling him. Also in this menu, you can pause the production. So if you don't wanna be charged for having the acid lab working, uh, you can disable it and uh, basically halt all of your utility costs uh, while the production is inactive. So that is pretty useful if you guys are kind of tired of the acid lab. You don't have to keep it running all the time if you get sick of it. Now on the right hand side in your acid lab, it says once manufactured, acid will be stored in this area. Sell the product for a profit once there is enough stock available. So that is pretty good. Now if you guys are not interested in actually purchasing the supplies, you can also source the supplies. However, you have to have the acid lab parked outside of the freak shop. If it's parked inside of the freak shop, you'll get this message in the top left hand corner saying sourcing supplies is unavailable while the acid lab is parked inside of the freak shop. So you're going to have to take this thing outside and go mobile with it if you want to actually launch these supply missions yourself and you want to do that uh, like you can with the MC businesses or the bunker when you just go to source the supplies rather than purchasing them. I always recommend purchasing with the acid lab. We don't know if it's super worth it to purchase yet or not. So we'll just have to see how that works. But for right now, I would suggest probably going outside and actually sourcing the supplies yourself, just for right now until we know a little bit more about this business. Uh, so definitely a very cool vehicle, a very interesting concept for a business in GTA. I'm super excited to learn more about the Acid Lab and share that with you guys as we get to know a little bit more about this thing. There is one more thing that I should mention here. Now, when you go to customize the Acid Lab in your vehicle workshop here, you guys will notice you can customize the delivery bike and of course the Acid Lab. The Acid Lab upgrades, you can do the equipment upgrade, but it says you can only do it after you complete 10 Fooligan jobs for DAX. Now, how you actually do these is by calling Jax when you're out in free mode. You can only do one of these per in-game day. So it is going to take quite a while to be able to actually unlock this equipment upgrade with the brigade for the acid lab, but it is definitely going to be worth it. Um, you will be able to purchase this once you do these 10 Fooligan jobs. I'm assuming that the 10 Fooligan jobs are going to pay you pretty well. Uh, I know that they happen to be double money and double RP right now, actually. So if you guys are planning on getting these Fooligan jobs so you can get your equipment upgrade done, I would say do them sooner than later for sure, because I think that you will probably regret it if you have to do them on regular money instead of double money right now. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Acid Lab right now. This is how you get into doing the Acid Lab. These are the missions you have to complete. This is the stuff that you need to know about the Acid Lab as of right now. I will have a full business guide coming very soon about the Acid Lab in its entirety, so stay tuned for that, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course very appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.